All right, so uh, what we want to do now is to create this what's on your mind area. Okay, so now if you can see the post button is inside this text area, which is not possible. So what we're going to do is a little bit of a cheat. We'll create a div and then we'll put the text area inside that, but then we'll blend the text area and the div's color so that we can see the difference. That way it looks like the post is inside the text area. So let's do that so that you can see it in real time. So we're going to go down here where it says posts area. Mm -hmm. So down here, let's create one div that we're going to use. This will be this outlined div right there. All right, so let's give this div uh, a little bit of uh, styles. So let me see style in there. Okay, so first of all, for us to be able to see it, let's add a height. Okay, let's give it a, or maybe let's leave the height to be automatic on this one. So let's just give it a border. So we're going to say we want a solid line on the border. We want it uh, thin, which is, oh, sorry. We want it thin, which is like one pixel. And we want the color to be hash AAA, something like that. Let's give it a padding of 10 pixels so that there's gap between it and what the content. And then we will put the background color later. Now let's put some content inside so that we can see it. Now there's this, instead of an input here, text input, uh, let me try that though. If we put a, a text input in there, let me refresh this. Uh, this is what we get now. Uh, that border is too thick. Did I put thin? What's going on? All right. Let me put one pixel border solid. Oh, all right. So I see what's going on. I put the semicolon here by mistake. So let's do that again. And there we go. That looks much better. So now as usual, this thing is too close there. So we need to, we need to leave gap between this and the, between the top and the left side. So in order to do that, this uh, flexed item here we need to give this one a padding of 20 pixels. So padding will leave gap between the item and its contents. So when we do that, there we go, we leave a gap. But I don't want the gap to be also on the right. So what I'm going to do is after that, I'm going to add a padding right to reset it and say zero pixels. So that uh, on the right, there's zero pixel padding and we can go all the way. Okay, that's that's much better. So you see the text area is in here, the input. But what we want is a large text area where we can type paragraphs instead of just one word or so. So instead of using an input, we're going to use what is called a text area. There's something designed specifically for that. So it's called the text area like that. So if I refresh, I'm going to see that. So this is much, much better. Now, let me... Uh, give this an id actually instead of giving it an id because this will be the only text area on this page i can simply style it by going up here and instead of using a hash this time i'm just going to write text area and do that now the difference here is this um, if you put a hash it's going to look for an id if you don't look if you don't put a hash just write the name it's going to look for an actual element which is a text area. So if I add another text area element, it's going to use the same styles as well. So in order to do that, let's go up here. But before we style it, let's put a placeholder in here. A placeholder, which is going to show what's on your mind so that we can see the text inside this guy. So there, what's on your mind? So that as we style things, we can see the difference. So let me go up here now and actually style the text area to prepare it for our user. So the first thing we have to do is give it a width. 
So I'll give it a width of 100% because I want it to stretch to the end. And I don't want a border. I just want it to blend in to the white that I'm going to add. So I'm going to say border none. I'm going to change the font family because for some reason uh, the text area doesn't or the text box doesn't get the font of the parent div. So I'm just going to tell it again to use Tahoma and then I'm going to change my font size to 14 pixels in there. And that's it for our text area. So if I do that, you see that that's very nice. But you see there's uh, no gap between the text and the text area itself. But that's fine because all we need to do is make this uh, outer thing. Let's make that outer thing white and then it will look like there's space between the two. So before we do that, let me put a button down here, the post button, like what's there. Okay, so let me go down here and I'm going to say input, okay open angle bracket, input. So this one is submit because we're going to be submitting some stuff here. And then let me give it an ID. I'm going to say it's the post button, something like that, post button. So I don't need the name for now, so I can just uh, remove that for now. So that's post button and then we can go in and style that as well. So let me go up here and, but before that, let me refresh and see what we have. Ah, it's right here. So let's change a few things. First of all, I want it on the other side. So let me go down here. Now, in order to change what's in there, it's the value. What's, what's written on it, it's a value. So it's post, that's what I want. And then on top of that, uh, post button. So let me let me let me style it down here. Hash, since it's an ID we are looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, I want it to float to the right. So let's come back here and see what we've done. Okay, so it's floating over there, which is nice. Now. Uh, Let's style it then we can move this uh, down there. So let's add a few more styles here. So for example, the background color, I want that to be blue. It's that same bluish color with the 40, uh, this one right there. Let me copy and paste it. Border, I want no border because it looks like a 3D button, but I want it to look flat. So border none. The color of the text, I want it to be white. And then I want you to have a bit of padding of uh, four pixels. Then I want the font size to be something like 14 pixels. What else do I need? I need a little bit of a border radius so that it has a little rounded corners of two pixels. And then I want the width to be 50 pixels. Okay, so if I go back here and there we have a very nice button. Now I want this line to go down below it. So what I would do is put a break tag underneath here. So just put a break tag. Let's see if that does the trick. And there we go. So now let's just fill this box with white. But before I do that, let me increase the height of the text area uh, a little bit more. I think it's too, uh, what's the word? Tooth. Yeah, the height is too low. So let's go down here and say height. Let's try 50 pixels. Uh, see what that gives us. That's about 50 pixels, right? So let's try 60 then. Okay, I think uh, that works out. So in here, uh, let's fill this box up with white and then we are done. So now that box is the what is the name of that box? Let me go down here. Did I name it? No, I did not. So down here, let me put the styles and say background color white. Okay, so we are whitening this thing. So if I refresh now, there we are. So this looks more 
like what we have here okay so that now i can type some stuff like so and hit the word post there okay so so far so good we are done with this part and next time we're looking at how to add this post area down here i'll see you in the next video